Eruptions are not very frequent, sometimes going decades without activity. However, when steamboat erupts, its water column can reach 90 meters into the air. And by 2025, Steamboat had experienced two eruptions, albeit relatively small ones compared to previous ones. Steamboat's first eruption since September 2014 occurred on the 15th of March 2018, beginning around 5.30 a.m. local time. No one witnessed the eruption, but activity was detected by seismometers, temperature gauges, and airflow meters at USGS stream gauges in the surrounding area. Yellowstone National Park staff and several guides arrived at the site later and witnessed the steam phase of the geyser eruption. This is a common occurrence at Steamboat, a powerful air eruption lasting a few minutes, followed by a steam phase that can last for several hours. The water discharge at Steamboat caused the spring at the campground to dry up, another common occurrence, and the ground around the geyser was littered with small rocks and mud erupting from it. Based on seismic data, the geyser eruption was relatively small compared to the massive 2014 eruption. However, Steamboat wasn't finished yet. Another geyser eruption occurred there on April 19th around 4.30 p.m. local time, again recorded by air currents and seismic signals. Following the March eruption, Yellowstone National Park geologists installed a temperature sensor at the mouth of Steamboat. The sensor recorded a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius due to the April 19th event. Unfortunately, no one witnessed the eruption. The area remained closed to visitors until the snow melted and winter trail damage could be repaired. Furthermore, Yellowstone National Park geologists left the area just 15 minutes before the geyser became active. A real shame. But once again, Steamboat wasn't finished yet. A second eruption in 2025 occurred on the morning of April 27th. Activity apparently began around 6.30 a.m. local time, based on seismic data and air currents. An observer driving through the area around 8 a.m. also recorded the activity. Recorded seismic signals indicate that the April 27 eruption was still much smaller than those in 2013 and 2014, but it was the largest eruption of 2018. For comparison, each steamboat eruption in April released about 200, 400 cubic meters of air. This is about 10 times the size of the old faithful eruption. This is not the first time that multiple eruptions have occurred at Steamboat in a single year. The geyser was also active in March, April, and October 2003. This occurred during a period of thermal disturbance in the Norris Geyser Basin, when ground temperatures increased and new thermal features formed. There were also several geyser eruptions occurring at intervals of a few days to a few weeks in the early 1,980 seconds. The website geysertimes.org, a database maintained by geyser enthusiasts, has a wealth of interesting information about activity at Steamboat, both past and present. Does the recent activity at Steamboat reflect a new thermal disturbance at Norris? This is uncertain at this time, but YVO scientists will be monitoring it closely in the coming days, weeks, and months. This monitoring will involve not only on-site temperature sensors, but also satellite imagery of thermal activity and additional seismometers. It's also possible that Steamboat is entering a period of more frequent, but relatively small, eruptions, similar to those seen in the early 1,980 seconds. Alternatively, the current eruptions may simply reflect the randomness of geysers. Most of Yellowstone's large geysers behave erratically and don't erupt predictably, with a few notable anomalies, like Yuzin Faithful, 